Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing tonight? Hope you had a good day. I am coming back with you. Uh, these are the journals I made on my on the road uh, at my son's uh, drift event this past, I guess that was last weekend. So I just finished them up last night. I've been kind of working on them and finishing them up this week. So I was just going to do a kind of a quick flip through. They're all very similar, although they're not the same because they all have different uh, book pages in them. So uh, what I've done is, um, if, in case you didn't see those videos, or the, I think I did two other videos regarding these, uh, what I've done is make uh, the covers out of Better Homes and Gardens dividers and then used, a, you know, I'll show you what I used inside, but um, I got the idea from Maria's Miscellany and she she did it on her channel and I thought it was so cute that I told her I wanted to try it so I finally got around to it she because that was a little while ago that she tried it but um, it was so much fun I think they turned out super cute and I did them in kind of in my style the way I kind of do things so I'll just get started with a quick flip through and so they're all kind of uh, recipe cookbook related type uh, journals but they're they're little and cute and I would say they are, well, I should have had my ruler here, shouldn't I? <laughs> so I could tell you, because I haven't really measured them. I haven't measured them. So let me see, and let me measure them now, if you don't mind. Uh, they are four and three quarters, it looks like. No, no, that's about four and a half. Four and a half wide, and about almost six and a half just under just a hair under six and a half inches long so you know and here's here's how it fits in my hands so you can see how big they are you know not too big not too tiny but uh just right i think so uh on four of them i have the key, these campbell's uh ribbons and one of them i have this one i, I only had four and this one i have a gingham ribbon to match this you know the fabric on the spine so uh where i got these ribbons from a uh gift that i got at christmas and that was a, the campbell's gift sets that they put out at christmas and i had saved the ribbons so uh, i had two ribbons and i cut them in half so i ended up with two nice long i mean four nice long ribbons and then so i was able to make these the closures on four of them so this is the first one I'm going to show you it's the eggs it's eggs divider and here's a little egg sticker with a little kind of collage on the front here's the spine it's just like a little traveler's notebook um, binding and so we've got the gingham fabric on the spine and then what I have inside here is uh, in the front cover of each one I put uh, I'll keep it down so maybe uh, I think you can see good when it's down here but um, on the inside of the front cover of each one I have a um, one of the a Campbell's recipe card from that same gift set so I've got this in here as a front pocket and then in the pocket of each one I have a calendar page that has something to do with, with uh, food related like this one has cherries on it so it's from an old calendar that I had, a scrapbook calendar. And then I also have a book page envelope in each one. And they have some trim. Uh, they have trim here on the flap. Some of them have trim here. This one uh, for reinforcement. This one seems to be okay, so I didn't put trim on this one. And in each, each one I have some little goodies inside the envelope and I'll show you this one and then I won't have I won't need to show you the rest because they have the same type of thing in each envelope in the front in that front pocket so I've got some tickets in here and then I have a little sale tag I make these and I have these in my shop so I have that I have a little tiny tag I also sell little tiny tags in my shop <laughs> here's another tiny tag I just make the tiny tags out of my scraps, so that's where those come from. And then a little tiny circle to have fun with. So those are all in the front envelope here. And that's just kind of tucked right in here. And like that. The 
both of those are in there. And then as we go on, I have a pocket. This is like um, cardstock um, scrapbook paper. And this was from a uh, smash book, so it has the little holes right here, which I think is cool. Here's the pocket here. And then in this pocket, I have the same thing as in all of them, basically. So I have a recipe card as far as ephemera. And then I have two note papers, and all the note papers have something to do with food also. This one has cherries on the top, and then like a pie and a rolling pin, you know, and a bowl of cherries down here on the bottom. Really cute note papers with lines. And then this one has a cupcake on it on the bottom. And on the top it has, you know, cooking related uh, like a mixer and a rolling pin and things like that. So really cute. So that's what's in this pocket, this first pocket. And this is meant to be like a writing journal type of thing. It's not necessarily a recipe journal. I just thought it was fun to have put some recipe related things in here since I have the covers from a cookbook. But really I put a lot of room for writing or gluing or taping in whatever you want. For instance, here's a yellow, plain yellow piece of paper, just a pretty piece of paper, some graph paper. Here is a uh, page from the, the uh, Better Homes and Gardens cookbook. And then some like gold colored paper and graph paper. There's uh, approximately, let's see how many, I think there's, uh, I'm trying to think of how many I think there's 40 pages in here so here's ledger paper and so if you count fronts and backs that's 80 so lots of room this is a piece of that cardstock smash book page I love those and then blue lined paper some more graph the gold solid colored a recipe page and ledger right here and then another recipe page recipe book cookbook and another cookbook this is a yellow solid and it just goes like that all the way to the middle and in the middle I have clipped in the same thing in each one I have if you uh, a couple video videos ago I made some paper clips this is one of the teacup paper clips that um, I made in that in that video I kept making them after I'm still making them today tonight I was making some still so that just clips on right there and I have under here. Um, this is from a card set that I have and I put all, I think I put food related cards in each one like this has grain on the front here. It's like a little flash card set and it says grain down here and it has a picture of grain. So that's under the paper clip and this is also a game called Stone Soup that I have and I tried to pull out some uh, like cookbook related cards from that game and put in here also. So just some fun little pieces of ephemera. I left the, the uh, middle strings here very long so you can do whatever you want with those. You can cut them off, you can tie them in a bow, you can hang charms on them, whatever you want. You know, glue little pick, you know, pieces of uh, hearts or whatever on them on either side. So just whatever you want to do with those. And these are both fold outs in the middle with that pretty um, smash book pages. And then the back half, of course, is this, you know, the back half of the front half. So we'll just flip quickly through that so I can show you the other journals real quick. I won't need to show you every page because they're similar, but they're not the same, if you know what I mean. Because the cookbook pages are different and the smash book pages are different, but I used uh, the same type of graph paper, ledger paper, in the solid sheets in each one. So, And then there's one more pocket in the back here that has a pretty recipe card in it, a blank one. Each one has a blank one in the back. A uh, old recipe from uh, an estate sale that I you know, I have a bunch of these, so I put one of these in each one. It was a typewritten. I think I put a type. Tried to put a typewritten one in each, but those are old vintage recipes. And also, just a little piece of uh, cookbook ephemera. This was a little thing that was from that estate sale, so I've tucked that in there just for fun. 
And also I put a recipe divider. This one says sandwiches in each each journal. So that's what it, what's in that pocket. And in the back of each one, I did the same thing. I put a little guest check here, which is zigzag stitch on right here. And it's a flip up. So you can do something underneath here if you want. You can write on the back of this. The guest checks have lined lines on the back. And this is like a thick uh, cardstock kind of a guest check. So, and then that's the back. So that's that one. Let me put two, I'm gonna put, um, I think I'm putting uh, three of these in my shop, my Etsy shop, and then two of them are going to, a fr to friends. So they're two friend journals and three for my Etsy shop. But here's this one. This one has uh, this on the front and it says spicy right here with a chili pepper. And then here's the back of this one. So, and then this one, I'll just show you the, um, this one has, let's see, this one I did the card, the recipe card a little different. The other one had the tuck on this side. This one has the tuck on this side, but it has the same things tucked in here. And then here, I'll just flip through. Uh, here's the uh, smash book in this one. And then we'll flip through to the different, you know, to show you what's different in this one, if I can turn the pages. <laughs> but real quick, just you can see, so you can see the differences. Here's the smash book page in this one. And then, just you can see how similar they are, but here's a smash book page. But the differences are a few. Here's a smash book page, and here's the cards and the paper clip in this one. And then we'll just flip through the back, the smash book, back half of the smash book page, pages. So that's that one. There's the little, you know, ephemera in the back pocket and we're at the back so that's that one put that one over there and then this one with the Campbell's bow and here's this the front of this one has a little mason jar with a fork and a spoon in it and a little uh, kind of uh, backing there and then here's the back of this one really cute I love I love these if they if they sell pretty quick, I'll make some more because I, these were fun, super fun to make. I really liked making them and I wanted to make more. I just, you know, figured I'd make these and then go from there. You know, I only really make so many at a time. I didn't want to overwhelm myself. <laughs> but yeah, these were a lot of fun to make. So, and I love the Smashbook paper I put in here, but I love the variety too, uh, the variety when you have a variety of pages in a, in a journal. So, and you can see that one's so cute. There's the back of that one. So that's the third one. And then I'll just show you these, the Campbell's bow on this one. Here's the little sticker on this front one. It says, a family favorite, a little collage there. Here's the back of this one, so cute. And then here's, uh, in size, you can kind of see it's very similar. There's the smash book. Let me show you the middle of this one. It's a smash book page, and this really cool, fun pages. And here's the back of this one. Love this the smash book, it looks like ledger. And there's that one, number four. I haven't, decided, I haven't decided which ones are going to be the friend journals yet. <laughs> They're all, you know, I like them all, so I don't know. I do not know, but uh, here's the back of this one. The front, the front of this one has a cherry on it. A little collage. And then here's the inside of this one. Just fun stuff. So... There you have it, all five. And so that was a lot of fun. And uh, 
Thank you everyone for watching tonight. I hope you like those little journals. They came out so cute. And uh, I will see you next time. Have a good night.